you know, I think a lot of it goes back to aliens, man. You want to really mm-hmm. get tinfoil hat, you know, like the, the the absence of gender and how we are truly evolving. Eventually, there maybe might not even be gender eventually. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like when you see the picture of the alien, what is what is like the quintessential gray alien, right? Right. It's like a big hairless because it probably doesn't get much exercise or need to be outside yeah you you're just sort of locked in your little it's container all, it, it plugged into the whatever hey moving dutchman welcome man buddy you know but there's no need to reproduce anymore because eventually that's that's the future folks we're right. gonna be test tubes or that that test tubes got our got our babies going mm-hmm. only we don't the, have to touch anybody anymore only the good stock you know they we'll be able to communicate telepathically and so sex and all of that will take place all in within the we'll mind be, we'll be integrated cyborgs basically and that's yeah. where the evolution will start is you know when Elon Musk sticks this neural link into you, and then you hook that into the metaverse with fucking Zucks. With Zucks metaverse, and now you're, you're just thinking. You're not even having to move anything. Yeah. It, there's there's going to be the evolution in two, three hundred years. It's going to if society makes it as it is. So here's the question: Is that is that a direction that we should be going in? With the metaverse, yeah, I don't like, think so, man. No, like, you think that's the. I, I but think but what if we're it, able? It's still industrialization. But, hold on. but what like, if we But still, hold on, hold on. What if we're able to take the metaverse, take Neuralink, and completely eliminate these stupid, uh, tribalistic monkey genetics that we're still holding over from the Paleolithic era? Mm-hmm. What if we're able to sort of uh, to to surpass that and, and to and to find this 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 insane uh, you know net neutrality where we where we are able to uh, accept everybody for who they are because they can be whatever they want to be mm-hmm. and you're able to get along with you know the Trump supporters are okay because you know they can be who they want to be they don't have to be that or you know what if we are able to own worlds yeah well what if we're able to well okay I guess that was bad let's not even bring in the Trump but what if we're able to surpass this notion and and these 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 paleo, paleolithic genetics that we're fighting against because uh, it is in direct uh, uh it, we are in a direct fight with with technology right because we have paleolithic well, it's not just technology it's industrialization of everything right. and utilizing all resources and tearing through everything as we do it so it has to be to a point where it's at peace with the earth or else it's never going to work because there will be nothing to do it unless we go on spaceships and colonize Mars like the colonizers want to do. The colonizers. <laughs> colonizers. They want to go colonize another fucking planet. Well, what about this one, mm. guys? Like, yeah, can, what about the ocean? get along with the planet that we're on right now. It's like there's different species of humans yeah. all over the world, and they, they don't look like this. You know, like people are vastly different. Mm. You know, you got seven-foot-tall dudes and four foot tall you know people people yeah. you know and everywhere different color yeah. shapes si- shapes sizes you know it's we are in our itself a very diverse stock but it's like i see where you're talking about with the technology but at the same time like how does it incorporate into how we stay at one with the earth that we're on, you know. Well, I Sustainable mean, if you think about agriculture, people f- eating properly and not raping the earth for. Well, if you think about like if we're finding meaning, if we're finding pleasure, if we're finding connection with other people all through the metaverse, whereas all we have to worry about is keeping these meat wagons sort of afloat. Um, you know, no one's really going to be having to work out in the fields. No one's going to have to work in 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 in. Um, in uh, what do you call it? in factories because mm. AI and robotics will take care of it, people which will be a lower. People have to fix the robots, though. Right, which which people Don't are gonna ha- people Willy are gonna have to interact. Factory? Well, people are gonna have to interact in the real world eventually, but yeah. for the most part, because of what's probably gonna happen with AI and robots taking our gerbs and you know people being the displaced. Gerbs! It's it's more likely going to be that everyone's going to end up on on some kind of you know what do they call the IBF, IBF um, mm. what is that called mm. the where everybody gets a check every month oh universal basic income. yes UBI sorry 
you know, people will probably end up on a UBI. Will probably, you know, there'll be food will be delivered by drones, and and w- what's going to end up happening is we're just going to be directly linked into the neural net and in, in our metaverse. And you know we're just gonna. That's how we'll exist, and they'll probably freaking be freaking me out right but now. But there's man. probably gonna be a lower. I just got a crazy deja vu while you were talking about all that, and now I'm freaked out it's... on camera. I'm freaked out. <laughs> it's man. happening. It's, it's happening. happening right now. Is this the metaverse? This might be a simulation right I now. I mean, look at behind us. What's going even going on back there? That's... I, mean, I don't know if you remember. I was little Jason at one point in time. Yeah. And now I've been erect here on Big Jason for a while. It's getting crazy <laughs> right like look at this this is nuts you were little you were just this tall you were just tall now look at me you were just this big in the corner over here and now you're fucking now look at you now look at me look at where we came yeah look at you now so much conspiracy <laughs> there's a lot brewing here but you know like I, at some point we're gonna be probably just have to give our entire selves over to the metaverse and to technology because it's because it's not going to stop it's not slowing down it's not like people out in silicon valley are like that's enough we're good who cares we, we, we our, this iphone 13 is good enough we're good you know and no we're going to keep going until we're fully encompassing until you know everyone doesn't have a job until everyone need, and, and what are people going to do but what I mean, are you going to do with a bunch like of people as if all these countries are going to do things the same like, but i'm talking about america and like how we're going to do it i don't know how other countries are going to do it i mean that's the that's going to be the biggest thing is at some point we're going to have to be one world right and yeah Eventually. I, I mean, eventually. that's what the globalists are trying to do, right? And how does that Blopity bloop. How does one opt out, though? Well, I'm guessing <laughs> that you're going to have to be... I mean, they could make a mandate, you know? It could it could turn into one of those things where it's mandated because your work... Maybe your work now consists of building metaverse buildings, you know? What if, what if your work now consists of work within the metaverse and now you are beholden to sort of a credit system because, you know, we're going that way anyways. We're going into this social credit system like china is doing um <clears throat> yeah that's weird like that's black that's like straight out of the black mirror black mirror baby it freaks me out they they knew it they had it i mean maybe they took it from china but i mean we're gonna have I, I, it might be one of those things where you know there is a sect of people who sort of there there might be like a um there might be a territory you know, uh, carved out of the United States where all people who don't want to participate in the metaverse have to go and, and live as refugees, sort of like uh, what they did with the Ameri- Native Americans. I mean, here's the thing. People are still going to want goods and services always. Of course, but like, but, but people, there's always but you're always going to be able somebody's to... Somebody's still going to have to make some fucking food, bring of the course. food, grow the food. You know, this well, is we're all going to have we're going to have real stuff. We're going to have grown meat. We're going to be able to grow meat in laboratories. Hey, listen, I like Beyond Burgers, man. I love them. I love some. I'll give me that. I don't care if it's beet juice. I eat, I'll, I'm going to go home and eat two Beyond Burgers tonight. Boy. I will yeah, smash the yeah, Beyond You burgers. eat whatever you want. But but we're already there. We're already making stuff. We're already making you know like just food out of nothing. I mean look look at like rice aroni and 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 all that shit in your freezer. A San Francisco treat. See, look at ten seconds, Mike. That's all you need for a jingle. Pfizer. That was <laughs> Pfizer. Fuck you, pay me. <laughs> Pfizer. Fuck you, pay me. Fuck you, pay me. I want borscht. Now that you've mentioned beets, well there you go, Bobby. Borscht. You better go get Hold some on, borscht. Hold on, catch up with this chat here. What's going on? Oh, hi, Moving Dutchman. I see that you said hi to me there. <laughs> Welcome, Blobbity Bloop, to the Blobbity. to the chat here. I love you, Blobbity Bloop. Yeah, I love, love you too, you. baby. Oh, I hope that's the right person. I hope I'm not saying that to like a 12-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> no, the scary white man said he loved me on the internet. Jesus, stop it! Oh my, um, I'm just here, you know, because Mike, Mike needed a ratings boost. You know? Yeah, like, well, last time Jason was on, you got you got to have me on just to you know get those get those, get those creds up. because those I am a 40 year old man and I swear to God I'm not gonna start my own podcast. <laughs> I swear to God I'm not gonna do it. I know that's what. 40 year old white dudes are supposed to do yeah but i'm fighting it so the way i like kind of quell is it the right word my urge sure, yeah it's like i come on your show mike because he comes on i right. come like come all over <laughs> your show so that i can just kind of okay i talk shit enough for a little while <sighs> I'm, I'm a reoccurring guest you know <laughs> friend of the show I think it's kind of a big deal you know it's a big deal it's i'm on is. tv right now <laughs> wseg tv <laughs> watch out 
I hope you, I, I hope you guys like the new setup. I feel like this gives it a little bit more dynamic. I don't know. Yes, I am quenching my thirst. <laughs> and he's quenching. And his now thirst. I speak everything in Russian. <laughs> and now in when Russia. I come on, we speak English good. I quench my thirst for podcasting. Yes. Where's Mikulski? Um, should we play another song? Yeah. What do you want to play? I don't know. You pick one this time. Let's do the one we uh. We just practiced before. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would be nice. That would be nice. That would be nice. Oh, we got it. It's some verbiage. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a song called uh, Seeds You Sow. Uh, there is a recorded version of this on uh, most streaming sites. It's uh, under Green Acre Sessions. Um seeds you sow it's on spotify and all that stuff but uh this is a quite a different version that we're about to play though with uh without instrumentation oh we got there you got jt and the conspiracy so we have jt and then we have a spotify that links oh Oh, that's that's the old man yeah that's love drunk wasted though isn't it but I don't know. That probably is low. I think wasted. No, I don't think I updated it yet. I think it's uh, Green Acre Sessions. Oh, yeah. yeah, it is. So, yeah, you can hit that Spotify link, and that'll take you to the old band, and you can hear uh, a fun, full... Did that say Verified Artist on there? Yeah. Wow. That's right. We got three monthly listeners. Watch out, Three. <laughs> oh, it's probably me and <laughs> me. two of my kids. <laughs> Do you, does three, your kids three, listen? No, three out of the band, four band members that played in the band. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this song is called "See You So."
Seeds you sold. Seeds you sold. Seeds you sold. Seeds you sold, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. It was what we did. We just did that. Thank you. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you for those claps. I appreciate y'all. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Oh, man. Ooh, it's those two vaxes I got. Mike, <laughs> Mike, hit the button. Hit the Pfizer button. They know I got to pay them. They got to pay I got to pay them. to you by Pfizer. Oh. Fuck you. Pay me. <laughs> we did it. Thank goodness. We did it. We got past that. Mighty Mighty Rain of Mystique. Thank you so much for those those uh, those biddies. We appreciate you. Um, yeah. So that was seeds you so That was that. That's a fun song. That was fun. We were actually playing that right before we came on, and uh, we were working through it, and we added some new stuff that I totally fucked up. But you know, hey. Nobody knows until you tell them, Mike. Nobody God. knows until you tell them, and I That's just told part them. of the. <clears throat> You're just lifting the veil of show business back a little bit. I'm good at that. I Movie think. magic. Yeah, I'm good at sucking. We'll edit it in the post production. It'll be fine. <laughs> we'll edit it in post. Oh nope. wait, we're live. We're live right <laughs> oh now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. Uh, so here's another fun topic. Oh, how dare I? Yes. Uh, here's another fun topic. And thank you for using those those uh, those emotes, Bonnie. The the Brules, Steve, Doctor Steve Brule. I, I love that new emote. I'll be adding more emotes um, as we go, but I, I love that Dr. Steve Brule emo. It's just so funny to me. It, it, did you ever watch uh, Tim and Eric? Or was no. That, no, I know of, I've, I know of Tim and Eric, yeah. though, but I never watched it. It's a Tim and Eric character that was pretty good. But anyways, I Mo War was like a Full House, mm. Perfect Strangers. Oh. You know, I don't know Perfect Strangers. It's just so ridiculous. No? Uncle ba um, Balky? Cousin Balky? Does anybody know what he's talking about? I don't... I'm sorry. <laughs> don't you guys know. need to get hip to late 80s, early 90s. Well, uh, like, I knew, like, TGIF. Uh, Family Matters and, you know, Cricket. I'm <laughs> funny. See, you don't know Perfect Strangers either. <laughs> it's, just, it's just me, Bonnie, and me and Bonnie. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. I guess I'm old. It is what it is. Yeah, hey, well, fuck it. I made it. I made it this far. Right? And fuck you to all the people who've died. No, I'm just kidding. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm just I, didn't, I didn't say that. <laughs> just kidding. That, that's, that's, what, that's what it sounds like. It's like, yeah, I made it. There are people, though. I'm not going to lie. There are people there where I'm like, yes, I made it past that guy. Like, there's this dude named, um, I won't say his full name, but his name was Jacob. Uh, that's his real first name. And he was such a prick of a human being. And not that I wish death on him and not that I wish death upon anyone because, you know, that's it's not my call. I don't, you know, I don't, whenever they're supposed to go, that's when they go. Anyways, this was the type of guy who would, um, I mean, he would be your friend and then steal from you. Oh, and then man. he would be like, uh, he would like... He was a guitarist, and he played. He would be like, "Oh, I'm so good. I've been playing for 15 years." And then he would get the guitar, and he would be like, "Jing, jing, jing, jing," and he would sing t terribly. He was just completely toned. Yeah, Jacob is the worst, or was the Narrator, worst. Narrator, but he wasn't good at the guitar. <laughs> but he wasn't good. He wasn't good at all. He was terrible, and he he. Uh, he, he he was just indignant about it, and he was just like one of those people who were just. You know, he got bullied severely in, in school. Like, he got bullied so bad that he got beat nearly to death in high school. And I remember this kid. I mean, they broke his ribs. Sounds like his awful. Oh, yeah, it was terrible. But, like, the kids would not stop running his fucking mouth. He was just one of those people who will not stop running their mouth. He's like, listen, kid, if you don't, there's something about your face. I want to take one of these, <laughs> and I want to put it right into it. And it just if it keeps talking, <laughs> For it's going to have to happen. For real. And, and, you know, the thing is... 
I mean, like, one of my really good friends whooped his ass because he was like, I can fuck you up, I can fuck you up, and, and he was like, okay, let's go, and the dude tried to sucker punch him, and so, homeboy, it can actually fight. There's a kid, I have, fuck I know the exact up. kid, we have the exact kid where I'm from, but his name was Travis. Travis? Damn it. It's always... They beat the fuck out of Travis all the time, because he'd steal shit. <laughs> he'd steal a bunch of shit, and then he'd be like, motherfucker, we know you stole <laughs> we this. Know it's you. So he'd we'd come over, he'd be like, come over. <laughs> and he'd come over and he knew he was coming over for an ass whooping and they'd beat the fuck out of him you stole my shit so I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you right here in this front yard then you're gonna leave you know maybe it's just he a... never gave the shit back though well I mean he's like this will only cost me one ass whooping <laughs> worth it <laughs> I mean I don't know it, it, who knows what kind of trauma develops that tort type of behavior I don't, you from know, home though too you know? I, of you course get, like we're like getting beat up is a, a normalized you know? right so you're like yeah i'm just gonna go I'm just yeah, this, is, this is this is what i do um it sounds like he literally was asking for yeah people are literally you, you know it's just it's it's weird man like what something that my son likes to do is be super annoying when he's vying for attention like he's just like he'll go out of his way to be as annoying as possible to the point where we're just like dude fucking chill out and they'll be like, oh, why are you gonna be mean and it's yeah, just like because <laughs> but but it, he he just literally wants our attention so yeah. bad that he'll do whatever it takes to get that attention. And I understand. It, and maybe it maybe well, that I understand. Well, and maybe in some w- weird universe, this is what he was taught as a child. None, nonetheless, like we all get older, we all have to learn, and this person never learned, and so like uh, he he just continued to get his ass kicked for for many years, and then one day he was just coming down. Route, Route 50, is that Woodville? He was coming down Woodville, and whatever happened, happened, but he fell asleep or something, and he just smashed into someone head on, which is horrible, because... Holy I mean, hell, man. He was He's a- just going to tell me the story, and then, this, you know, I'm, like, hating this kid, Jacob. Now the <laughs> motherfucker is dead. R.I.P. Jacob. Well, like, he, sorry, I man. told you. I started the story about he's dead. I told and the, you. And then he died. <laughs> and then he died. But, 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 like, here's the thing. I know that, you know, it's terrible and it sucks and, you know, my heart goes out for his family. But somewhere in my fucking, my lizard brain, I'm just like, fuck that dude. I'm glad I'm here. And fuck it, I made it out before him. You know, like, or I mean, he, he, I'm going to make it out after him because it's just yeah. like, there's some people I just don't want to die before. It's like, I just, <laughs> I just. There's just some people, and it's not that I hate the kid. I never hated him. I never, you know, like I've yeah, only Travis dis- never stole for me. Yeah, I had nothing worse. He's stolen so. for me. This kid stole for me. Well, fuck him then. Yeah, but I never hated him. I, I like that was the thing. I just disliked him strongly, and I never really think of him or thought of him. You should have whooped his ass. It's just, but but that's the thing. Like everyone else already did, and it was like like here's the thing. He stole from like my band so he stole like a mm. pedal of mine and he stole like a strap from my friend and it was his dad's strap who was dead so like we already went over there and he already got a taste of the thunder so it wasn't like i was just come up there and kick him down you know like it was just like it was over that'd be a good uh name for a 80s like movie taste, taste of thunder, thunder. <laughs> taste of thunder it's the, it's the taste taste of thunder coming to theaters everywhere Hold on, I just added... November 27th, it's Taste, Taste of Thunder. <laughs> Hold on, this is what I felt about Jacob. His hair, whack. His gear, whack. His jewelry, whack. His foot stance, whack. The way that he talks, whack. The way that he doesn't even like to smile, whack. Me, I'm tight as fuck. That's how I feel about that shit. Yeah. Me, I'm tired as fuck. And, and you know, that's just the the cruel reality of life is that some people get, you know, make it out longer. It's like, you know how people say, like, nice guys finish last. It's like, that's not always the case. There's all kinds. Of, Dick I Cheney. A, I is, think that's a sexual reference, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Is it not? I don't think so. I mean, nice guys do finish last. Hey, what's up, lady? Doesn't always happen. Sometimes I'm not nice. <laughs> you know, it's hard sometimes. I only got so much gumption in me. <laughs> it's only hard sometimes, though. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know. Like, just there's some people that you just don't care for. And, like, there's another kid that, that you know, I don't care about him anymore. But in high school, I just thought he was the, just such a piece of shit. And I hated him so much. But 
he ended up being like a marine and like a cop and stuff, and he's actually a, a, turned out to be a good person. But he was just like such a horrible person in high school. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and and we then he went off to to the military and became a, a human being. Learned how to be a man. Yeah, yeah. And 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 you know I respect that. But at the time I was just like fuck this guy. I mean, it, I mean I, I don't I, I honestly don't wish death upon, death upon anybody. Although I do just wonder why some people are still alive. Like like Dick Cheney. Like why is that guy still alive? I mean, why is that guy still? <laughs> Because of money, man. And money like, and you know, fake you can, arts. You can just buy a heart when you're that rich. Like, we made fucking millions of dollars off of a, a war that went on for billions, twenty years. How long? Nine eleven, 20. twenty years. Twenty years. You know, remember how, uh, Halliburton and all that? Like, oh people, yeah. People act like we forget. Like, why well, don't forget that shit? I'm they old. Did. I remember that shit. That was some well, war crime th- shit. Th- that's we, what I'm imagine saying. Imagine if we had social media back in those days. Like, we have it now. We, we, yeah, I mean, we had it, but it wasn't like it was now. Not in 2001. There was like chat rooms. Right. There was chat rooms. Maybe friends. There maybe, but but we all watched Squid Game and how they harvest organs for the rich. Yeah. I mean, that's not. I, I'm, listen, we're, we're JT in the conspiracy here. Like or, organ harvesting is not like a fucking fake market. No, There's, it's not. It's some real shit. It like, is. It's very real. Organ <laughs> organ harvesting, and like when people think that, like even like uh, sex trafficking, it's a huge market. Like this yeah, is not people something... are being sold to slavery. Do you right remember now. Toledo? Toledo was one of the places in Ohio. It was a big hub. Because, it was a big hub because here. of where it's at on the highway. <sighs> It's right off 80, 90s right mm-hmm. there, and then you got 75 going right, right up and north out of it. And then, you know, that's a big hub. It's a yeah. huge hub for, for – so there was there was a – it's probably still going on, but, like, it, what, this was probably, what, like five, six years ago, maybe a little longer? When attention started getting brought to it, yeah. There were, you know, yeah, there was this huge attention, and it kind of corresponded with the opiate crisis too, right? I remember mm-hmm. there was a big – there was, like, lots of opiate deaths. There was a lot of fentanyl deaths. There's this whole, like, fucking uh, trafficking thing that was going on. And I remember being in California, just like, Jesus Christ, what's going on out there? But – where I'm at in San Diego, that's a huge hub too. I mean, right there on the border, right that was a huge. Border. I mean, it still is right to this day. I mean, and that's what's going on. And currently. they're gone, but it's, mm-hmm. it's, it seems like it's a, it's a more of a, it's like people come missing that don't, people don't care that they're missing. Yeah, and I think that's a big part of it. You know, when you mm-hmm. have you know people that are stuck in the foster system and you know with nobody that's going to be looking for them, right? They just come up missing, and then then they're gone. And yeah. that, that's, you know, unfortunately, that seems to be a commonplace. And then, you know, a lot of the, you know, the migrants, you know, yes. some people, then they're gone. Yo, you know, that's and, and that's part of what's going on right now. You know, and, and I'm not saying that there's a bunch of fucking, you know, uh, rich people trafficking kids over the board. But like with this open border <laughs> thing that's going on right now. Um, there, there are people bringing a bunch of drugs. There are people finding tons of drugs. There are people, you know, they are finding people just walking over with humans and they're trafficking. Like they are literally just bringing people over, shipping them wherever. There's no accountability for any of them. And no one's getting vaccinated. That's for fucking shit. There's no mandates on people who are just, just waltzing right into the country. Well, during the, you know, during the, um, the Obama administration, they made it if you if you had a child with you, it was like a free, oh yeah, free pass. What would they call them? Anchor babies? That was rude. <laughs> you could come in and oh, and and seek a, asylum, or a, you mm-hmm. know, they would be like, all right, we'll come in. You have a kid, just come on in, go to your family's right. house, and you know, and then you know, I have a a coworker who was a, a border patrol working with the military around that time frame mm. they, and they would find dead kids in the, the desert out there all the time because people would steal a kid get over the border get in and then bye that's it you know kids yeah. with backpacks with full, filled with cocaine and yeah just left out in the some crazy shit you know the, it's it's a weird when you start making policies like that and stuff people are, are going to take advantage of yeah man and I get it. I, I, I just don't, if America's so bad, why does everybody want to fucking come here? Exactly, and that's, that's what's what so weird about it. And that's what's so weird about this anti-American sentiment. And, and of course, I know that America's not perfect. I know America hasn't made its mistakes. There's but, opportunity, but though. there's never been another country has done what we've done, as in like uh, the powerhouse, the the cultural influence, the fucking. I mean, just just the technological uh, gains and and just. Uh, when you leave people to freedom of choice and freedom of speech, when you leave people to their own devices and they're able to create their own worlds for themselves, they 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 make 
insane advancements. But when you have a tyrannical government that has a thumb on everybody's pulse, you, you remain in the past. And, and I think a good example of this is North Korea, who has like terrible technology. I mean, they're just getting their hands on some sketchy ass, you know, yeah. missiles and shit. So it's like, you know, th there's no innovation coming out of North Korea. South Korea is going crazy, right? I just want to talk about what makes America beautiful first. <laughs> you know, here's Please. what makes America beautiful. Let me go on my little speech here. Please. So, you know, you, you look back and, and yeah, it's, it, we have a fucked up bloody history, right? It's gross. Like it, we, you know, we came over, Europeans came over, genocide of native people. We brought uh, slaves from Africa and South America and all over the, the world here. We had immigrants come from all over the country, but then, you know, something happened. We all got together, you know, cities started happening, and, you know, people realized that all these different people, we all came together from all these cultures, and we just started fucking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, everybody's fucking everybody in America, and, and that's what freaks probably the world out, is like, all these stocks from all over the world, mm. we are just all fucking, you know... Black men, white women, whatever, like white men, black men, mm -hmm. white women, not quite a woman, but mm -hmm. almost a woman. Right. You know, we are all here free to fuck. Yeah. And it's an amazing thing because love is beyond the color. It's beyond gender. And I think that's it's being proven in America and it scares a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a big part of it is, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, you go to China. What do you have in China? Chinese. Chinese people. Mm. When you think American, like, you know, if you say American, <laughs> you think of, like, the guy with the truck. But the in the re reality is it, we really are the melting pot. Mm. And, you know, I think social media has done a great job at fucking hitting that wedge in between people mm. and making divides when there really doesn't need to be divides. Right. But, you know, you, there's probably something behind all that more than just clicks and likes and engagement. But you know, more on a more conspiratorial level. But like, you know, in in reality, you know, all these people of all these different cultures are coming and finding love. And, you know, it's it, it's a pretty beautiful thing, man. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And, and b b b bloody past. <laughs> listen. <laughs> yeah, let's not forget. And, and that's it's, the thing. it's a fucked up past. And, you know, it wasn't that long ago where interracial marriage or interracial couples was still... It couldn't happen in some areas, right? Yeah. Like that's you know we're talking what forties, fifties, sixties, but in the sixties is when that kind of started being more socially accepted, and even in still some areas of the country now, it's still not probably. Uh, since the Bible says something, and so you know you got your white Baptists or, who are still oh, worried yeah. about it, but oh, yeah. but at the same time. It, you know, these kids are moving the fuck out away from their fucking racist ass fucking Christian family going right. to cities and finding that, man, people are just. Yeah. And, and I, I honestly, I don't know how this pandemic is going to affect any of that, you know, but. Well, it's only divided everybody, but that's only because of of what what the media has been doing and like the media has just been acting as a state player now, you know, like mm. <laughs> the media is basically a, a, the, the voice of the state now, but. Um, but but yeah, it, like there's this idea, you know, that um, America is this horrible place, and then that, that we should be teaching our kids that America is this horrible place. And 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 here's the idea about you know like with schools and what we're teaching kids and like what how kids are perceiving America is like, you know, there's this idea that we need to um, to um, in which I fully agree that that we need to sort of reconfigure how and what we're teaching kids now there's some things that go too far but i'm totally for teaching kids about how bloody america was and how yeah, real and history real history and not fucking candy coat it no let's not fucking try to and then kids this is what happened in thanksgiving <laughs> yeah the Dex! the poor pilgrims couldn't eat food so the native americans showed them how to plant fishes underneath their plants to yeah. make them grow then they all ate turkey together and then then they killed all the Native Americans yes. and sent them out west to unfertile land in the desert somewhere, the Trail of Tears. It was bloody. They turned tribes against tribes. But some people fail, fail to forget, too, when we talk about, you know, the great, you know, indigenous people. They were at war with each other. Yeah, absolutely. It, they had, they already had their own shit to deal with over here. And 
you know, the Europeans came over and just exploited that. Mm-hmm. You know, the French, the, Sp- the Spanish, and the English. Yeah, you know, yeah. The English ended up winning, you know, because <laughs> the French, are, they were up there in well, Can- Canada area, and they kind of still have the yeah. Canadia. In the Canadia. <laughs> yeah, we all know where the French went. <laughs> you know, the Spaniards were coming from the south, and, you yeah. know, it was a whole deal, turning tribes against each other and giving some tribes diseases and yeah. giving some tribes guns to kill the other tribes. Yeah, and, man. You know, it, it was... But then... You know, America, America happened, and then who was I think it was Andrew Jackson, right? Twenty dollar bill. Was He's it? the one that ordered the cavalry to go across and basically massacre or ship everybody trail of tears. Yeah, pack it up and get the fuck out of here. I mean, there was agreements reached in Montana, and well, no North Dakota mm. with uh, the Lakota mm. up there. You know, that was supposed to be treaty land where they still were allowed to inhabit but even that's become bastardized i mean we turned one of their monuments into our monument and put our our father our father's faces onto How what was up is what that? was their five grandmothers or yeah I, i'm i yeah what was you know, that what was the we can look that up keep going keep going I'll but just... you know we forget though that, that pr- prior to that but and then the, there was the eradication and it, it was bloody but, you know, if we want to talk about Columbus, you know, and, like, that's another thing that they talk about in school. You know, my son, I think, when he was pretty young, got in trouble on Columbus Day because he asked, well, how do you discover something that there's already people on, right? So we're giving this fucking awful human being, Christopher Columbus, mm. this credit of discovering our country when he didn't even fucking land... <laughs> In America, right. he landed on what was the Haiti, the Haitian right, islands. Right, the West Indies. Yeah. yeah, the West Indies islands. And when he gets there, you know, he thinks he's in fucking India, you know, like a dummy. But to be fair, it was a rough journey over here. Mm. You know, he was, if it was like do or die by the Queen of Spain. <laughs> so he was an Italian working mm. for the Queen of Spain to yeah. come try and find a quicker trading route, right? And he gets there and there's no gold. Like, you know, they, the, the, I don't know if you ever read uh, People's History of the United States of America. Howard Zinn. By Howard Zinn. I have. There was no gold, but there was one of the natives had a, like an earring or something Mm -hmm. in, and they tortured and to go take us to go find where it is, but they, all they really found were the people. Mm -hmm. So he couldn't go back empty handed, and he sure as fuck wasn't staying here. You know, there wasn't no bread or nothing like he was used to here, and there, so he, took people mm. back with them and i'm not saying that's i don't think that started necessarily but it started the large trade so then they just started sending ships back mm. and taking more people back to spain as slaves the arawak natives or whatever the the mm. tribe was named and then they discovered that when you take somebody out of their like natural habitat like a, as a more of indigenous type person or savages as they referred to them mm-hmm. back then to a to this areas they were so confused and so disoriented at the new the you come to civilization right after mm-hmm. you've been in the jungle or you know living in, in wilderness yeah communities and uh it was easier to control them and make them do the things that you needed them to do. Yeah. Is, and and thus born was born a huge slave trade. And then... Right, because, like, even, even when you look at, like... <clears throat> because that was a big part of it, right? Because they were having trouble enslaving the natives here because they're like, you fuck can't do you, you can't this do is it. my land, I'll like, just go they, hide somewhere where you'll surely die. <laughs> yeah, they they knew the land. Right. So there was like, no... There was no can't. enslaving the natives. There was only trying to control what they would do and, exactly. and how they would do it because there was no... I mean, there was no real control unless you went and just eradicated and, and showed by force that this is mm-hmm. how it's going to be. And there were warrior tribes. I mean, oh, these, yeah. these the tribes... The Comanches, whoo! These tribes were at war with each other. Like, they had real wars. Hell yeah. Of, so that they were ready to fight, you know. Yeah. And that was something through, it, you know, whatever evolution of that ends up happening, that they there were they were ready to fight. You're not going to come. You can come and fight us. This It's going to be a war for their land, but you're not taking us. But yeah. they did take a lot of them, too, though. And that was part of what they call the assimilation, eventually. Right. Where you can go on the Trail of Tears or you can 
go be this dude's right. wife yeah. and assimilate. Right. to our culture you know and that was a big part of it too was, religion christianity yep just get them go to fucking africa and spread that shit around like <laughs> like oh you can have this bowl of rice now so like, i'll just eat you you can have this bowl of rice <laughs> dembe but only if you accept the lord jesus christ <laughs> into just... your heart as your lord and savior um, be, oh you're not going to Fuck you, Dembe. Yeah, you can starve. You ain't getting this fucking... Sorry, I'm watching a show right now. Where what the, is it? It's called The Blacklist. Oh. It's the one of the characters, and his name is Dembe. He's from Africa. That's why I, I said it. It's <laughs> only <laughs> no one word. One name, Dembe. I know more, but I, that was like the first one. Oh, I see. You know it all, don't you? So Okay, so what'd you look up here? What's So uh, the Mount Rushmore, what happened with the Black Hills is so clearly theft in relation to the U.S. owns law. own law says Christine Gish Hill, a professor of anthropology of Iowa State University who was investigated the meaning of Mount Rushmore for Native Americans after that. Settlers and prospectors poured into the region. Okay, hold on. So this was just like a little piece of an article. Um, so, built on sacred Native American land and sculpted by a man with ties to the Ku Klux Klan... <laughs> Mount Rush, God damn it. America. <laughs> America. See, and we should know this. I'm so for people knowing this. But I am but but you can't but here's the problem. I I'm so for kids knowing exactly where this shit comes from. I'm so for that. I mean, like one of the things that my son he was so disenfranchised from school was when he found out what really happened with the pilgrims and the Indians. Like, that seriously fucked with him, especially as a kindergarten. He's just like, what? Wait, what the fuck? Fuck school. But it, it, I, but, but then there's this idea that you have to teach him that, you know, like, well, now you are only worth the color of your skin. And white people, white kids, you are guilty and you suck. And uh, Dude, you, We are you, all over the place making enemies on both sides I, of the aisle I don't right care. Now, I don't give a fuck because we're, it's a, we're over here having discussions about... <laughs> LGBTQ and right. we haven't even gotten into Kyle Rittenhouse yet so I don't even want to fucking <laughs> I see you got this fucking article brought up here I see what you're leading into here you got this shit brought up because you want to talk about this shit listen this is do. what this is all I could do listen this is where it comes out because if I try Mount to put Rushmore, it on more fuck Christopher Columbus fuck Christopher Columbus F but fuck him in the I face I just can't stand the people on you know online that are like it's Columbus Day and it always will be Columbus Day. What the fuck does that even mean to you? Yeah. Because you were taught from fucking some book in social studies and fucking that second lied to you. Grade that lied to you. They yeah. fucking lied to us yeah. growing up and they whitewashed every fucking thing that they taught us growing up. You know, like, in, I remember like social studies, it was like, and then there were slaves, and there wasn't because Abraham Lincoln freed him. And then moving forward, <laughs> yeah. that's the, the, right, the yeah the fucking. Like, but in like middle school, they're like, we're gonna watch Roots, and that's all we're gonna talk about mm. slavery. Right. We're gonna watch just the first one. We're not gonna like yeah get into where uh, very Chicken much... George fucking gets into cockfighting and fucking. I don't know if you ever watched Roots. I've never seen. Roots. You never seen Roots? No, no. Oh my god, dude! Come on. I, it's really hard for me to watch those movies because it just feels like it's. Are just, you fucking kidding me? No, it's hard for me to watch those movies because I just feel it's like hard it's for me to watch one of the fucking most important fucking no I, movies I, in American history. It's only because they're like beating on black folks and it bothers me. I don't like it. It makes me. It just feels like fucking you know beating on black folks porn. Honestly. Like all You're these supposed new, to like it. That's part of the fucking movie. But, no, I know, but, but like I just don't like it. There's overcoming a struggle though. They're like the story yeah, has I get a fucking it. happy ending. I get it, but I just don't like to see people getting beaten and shit. That's all. It's just my personal preference. It's not that I don't want to know about it. It's not that I don't, you know, fucking think that I should know about it. I'm just saying that. But I just they, don't they didn't make you watch it in school though. No, no. Did you have to read the book, The Outsiders? No, no, <laughs> no pony. No, you don't know when I say stay golden, pony boy. You don't know what I'm talking about. Um, no. Oh my God, where the, did you go to school at? I, Communist I, China? <laughs> no. Um, I went to Communist a, Russia. I went to a Catholic school for oh, a long time, which okay. didn't teach me anything. Um, and then and then I went to public school here in Oregon, which also failed me greatly. So. Mm. Uh, I feel like Columbus was a real idiot. Like, this must be India. West Indies. Nope. <laughs> this must be Indians. Nope. India must be India. Nope. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We do need to get him a copy of The Outsiders. Like, <laughs> how the fuck did you make it without reading The Outsiders or watching Roots? Like, I thought that was this was required 
American material. Shit, they made us watch mm. Forrest Gump in fucking tenth grade. Like they're like, this is really good. Actually, there's a lot of historical stuff in here. I, I've watched Forrest Gump in high school, but it, dude, I'm telling you, my education, like my education was shit. It was just garbage. By the time I got to college, I didn't know anything. I had to take so many prerequisites just to be able to take college courses. It was ridiculous. I was completely unprepared for reality. I don't even know what I was talking about now. I got so... We were just talking just about... blacked out. Well, we were talking... Yeah. What, well, I started talking about CRT. <laughs> started talking about, uh, like, you know, making well, white kids feel bad for being white. Oh, critical critical, critical race, race theory. theory. Yeah. Now, and then you were like, wait, like, no. I'm not, I'm not completely educated on critical race theory, well, but isn't it something that they would teach, like, like Harvard level yes. lawyers it's a college and, and theoretical. judges and judges a, so that they would understand how that plays into the legal system. Right. And it's a theoretical thing to this see, is sort of see how it plays advanced out. Advanced stuff. Right. And, and instead it, of just like making white people feel guilty. It was it's more like the way that the right is kind of taking right. taking that, it. But it's it's I mean obviously it's gonna be you know, there are some like pretty far left leaning that will take it that way. Way well, no, I mean, there's there's actually well, when you look at the material, like you look at the reading materials that are being so, sent out in regards to it, like it really does talk about how like people should feel a certain amount of guilt for being white and that fucking you know that there is. Uh, Can I tell you something, Mike? Sure. I don't feel guilty for being white at all, and it, do I? Should I feel guilty that I don't feel guilty? Yes. I don't. I, I mean, I, I, I'm going to apologize to you. I, I feel guilty that I don't feel guilty that I'm white. Well, you've just been canceled. I've been so. canceled. You've been canceled. Don't make me do it again. I just, I guess I just, you know, I I'm, I try to see past col- the color of my skin and, you know, I don't know. It just seems weird to me. Let me see. I, th- I feel like we've moved, we, we should be moved past that by now, I guess, is what it is. And I, maybe we're not. I, apparently, we're not. Maybe I'm just so far advanced that I don't feel. Well, what 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 I don't what I don't care for is that we're we're boiling down people's worth to the color of their skin. It's like and how much trauma that they've had in their life and how much oppression that they've felt in their life. It's but like you can look at me and you. You don't know what the fuck. Of course one not. Of, of course through. not. That's what gets me, man. You know, it's it's just this theory that. You know, I mean, granted, I, I understand that there is some privilege, I guess, in in being white. Like, you're not being looked at in certain areas. Like, if I go into, you know, fancy part of the city and I'm not like, and I'm just like a, another white guy there. You know, mm-hmm. nobody's going to look at me weird because I'm just another right. white dude. And that's white privilege, I get. You know, no, 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 no. Yeah, and, and then that's the other thing. As soon as you start talking about the thing, it's like they're like, oh, then you must not believe in white privilege. Then you must not believe in this. It's like, no. I, I, I absolutely I guess I just don't have do a lot of see, white guilt. <laughs> I do definitely see. I mean, I've, I've definitely experienced like just having light privilege, you know? like I it, feel guilty like, when I eat the last of something <laughs> or like, you know... You know what I'm saying? I mean, I have guilt, no, but it's not white guilt. And, and it's here's like the I other, ate too much guilt. And you know, like here's the thing. You know, like teaching kids, you know, uh, multicultural competence. You know, um, uh, um, teaching kids, you know, that there are certain there are ways of being of social justice that are, that are acceptable. You know, being anti-racist isn't a horrible thing. You know, it's just it's just how far you take it. You know, it, it's um, you know what was this. Uh, IQ, but cultural intelligence. Oh, I don't know. I'm I'm looking at this list of 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 things that people listed. That, but, and I don't think it's horrible to teach these things. But I'm saying, you can't take it to the point where you're making people feel terrible because they were born a certain way. I it, say early on, that's a little much. Like for little yeah, kids. Yeah, and, and I think teaching lo- kids lo- this shit is fine. But just do it in the proper context and don't turn it into a situation where you are, are like turning people against these kids. Because what's happening and you're seeing it happen is that these kids are feeling ostracized. You're seeing like kids. And, and then people are, oh, poor white kids. Poor white kids. And it's oh. like, well, what? <laughs> But but it's like but it's like dude, what did these fucking white kids do to anybody other than be born white? Are they supposed to like yes. suffer their whole life There's because a weird, double, a weird double standard? And, and, and yes, recognizing white privilege is I think is totally okay. 
But when you take it to the point where people are feeling horrible about because I'm white and straight, oh no, I'm a piece of shit. You know, it's like, or I'm a white supremacist because I fucking, because I'm white and I'm straight. You know, like that. It's seriously coming down to that. What's well, just a thing? Everybody's just hipsters. Is what it is. Like everybody's right. such hipsters that like that's the most you know it's the most common thing it's the majority of just being like a i guess and a white straight guy in america you know everybody's like oh my god you know here we like, go again here we go again with these <laughs> white straights yeah come you know, like, to tell I, us what to do i only take mine with locally sourced <laughs> indigenous gays <laughs> and that's how i take my people and without guilt you right, know, it locally almost locally sourced hops. For it my almost IPA. seems like it. What and it's funny because you have all of these fucking, you know, you have a lot of fucking like white kids who are sort of come up. And, and what you see it, it is that you see a lot of these middle class to upper middle class white kids who are becoming, you know, to, or who are finding it fashionable. I know that seems like a little bit of a, a, a bad thing to say, but I do... Usually college see, educated. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Smarter it does seem like that what's happening is that it is affecting the upper middle class white people. And, and, and what ends up happening is that uh, you know, white people don't have anything else to, left, right? Like they're not they're what are, they're not oppressed, so they have to figure out a new way to f- be oppressed. So now we have I'm, to create trauma that we can overcome. Yeah, it's like well, so I, that we I'm, can be better people. You know, it's like oh, I was I was fucking I was talked too loudly as a child, so I have sensory deprivation. You know, like it's all this shit. It's like. I just feel like some of it is just finding some sort of weird attention because they're trying to stand out in a world that values oppression. We put a huge value on who is oppressed and who isn't. And it's like, uh, I just feel like we're all oppressed. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like all of us are oppressed. If you think that it's just you as a, as a, as a black trans person, no, we're all being held the fuck down. And we're all being held down Dude, by the same fucking people. Some now, people being it, held down more than more others. More than others, and I agree with that. But at, on the, when you're looking at it, it's a class divide. We are yeah. fucking... We are fucking... Class the, privilege, for sure. There is just... It, 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 to me, it just seems like we are... We are so... Um, we are so privileged as a culture and as a society that we are looking for things to, f- yeah. to, to f- looking for problems. You know, we're looking for problems because we are at this point, we are, uh, we are privileged enough to go out marching on a work day and film it with our iPhones and talk about how bad capitalism is. Made as by we, slaves. In made by China. slaves in China wearing shoes that are very fashionable, made by slaves in China. You know, so like there's this just, I, I don't know. It, it just seems like it, it's very, there's a lot of hypocrisy to it. And, 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 and the more you point that out, the more that you're a white supremacist. <laughs> I just think, too, you know, with the whole class division and everything, it's like, unless you've been poor as fuck, like, you know, like... Like eating bologna off your hand sandwich. Eating bologna with a hand sandwich, (laughs) like, living on the... Like, listen, you know, I'm not trying to, like... This is not a fucking flex. By this is the means. Oppression Olympics right now. This is the Oppression Olympics. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I remember one time I only had four strings on my guitar, <gasps> so I needed to two dollars to get more money. I had no food or anything, oh. so I had to play and sing my heart out on the streets. Son of a just so I could get two more strings. So then I had six strings, and then I could go play some more, so I could fucking eat. I went shoplifted food, dude. When I was poor, I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. Like, fuck you, motherfucking Safeway. <laughs> yeah. Albertsons, fuck you. I'm going to go in and I'm going to steal shit. And I do, that's why I say, if you see people stealing food in the fucking grocery store, just let them. Mind your own damn business. Let them. You know what I'm saying? Em. They're fucking stealing food, obviously, so. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Those people drive the metaverse. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the problem, too, like, is that the, the, the oppression Olympics is going to be going real strong. I fucking, you know what? Like when I was a kid, fucking, I was a white kid until my Mexican mom dropped me off at school, and then I was a fucking. Well, I'm not gonna say the word, but then I was a, a you know, a, a beaner. Then they would call me a beaner, you know, or or the what other you, words. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say the SP word, but I don't oh, think oh. Twitch likes oh, it. Oh yeah, you yeah, probably won't want to say that one. No, like you Wasn't know, that the, jeans in the '80s. What wasn't those jeans in the eighties? No, but wasn't it's not even oh, for it's, Mexican. It's oh, for Puerto chi- Rican. That, that was sh- that was chic. Never mind. Oh no, no. I'll write it down for you. I know what it is. No, I'm gonna write it now because only because I want to write it down. 
Then this, I'm probably writing it wrong, too. I think it's a, a C. <laughs> I think there's a C. K. I just wrote the... <laughs> my illiterate ass wrote some slurs on a paper. <laughs> <laughs> and he wrote it wrong. And I wrote it wrong. <laughs> Mike, God damn it, Mike. <laughs> he did write it with a K, though, Bonnie. He did write it with a K. I'm pretty sure it's C because I, I think it's it's derived from the word Hispanic. We write slurs, good. right? Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't it derived from the word Hispanic? I don't know. I don't know. No, it's it's meant for Puerto Ricans. Uh, it's a Puerto Rican like slur. That's the worst part about it is that these even... little crackers would call me fucking little Puerto Rican slur. God. Kids are so racist, though. They were back then. They didn't know. It was like, it was just like, oh, you're this. This is what you are. Oh, man. yeah. So it is. So early 20th century slang is the same sense, uncertain origin. So it's, it comes from spiggity, the slang spiggity. Oh, God, I hope I'm not saying something horrible. Um, in the same sense of uncertain origin, perhaps an alteration did you know that there's an encyclopedia of racial slurs on the internet somewhere? I, yeah. it's There's some pretty weird ones out there. Oh, yeah. So it's uh, to be a contraction of early... Okay, so it's a contraction, but... Um, so, yeah, it's like cut a cutoff, right? Isn't it? That's why I thought so it was it, Hispanic. That's yeah. why I thought it was... Uh, um, boy, we are getting into it here. <laughs> you know, we're, we're really doing. He things. wrote it wrong on the paper. <laughs> oh, you, you spelled color like that, Bonnie. Are you from England? No, she's worse. What? Canada. <laughs> How about it? <laughs> Offering Bonnie. How That's about like it, okay? you're doing. Fuck. <laughs> I'm English. I can't. I don't think I can do. Can I have to? I have to channel my Wisconsin. 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 That's pretty much. How about it? How about it? See there, am yeah. I, am I culturally, is that cultural appropriation if I talk about can, uh, oh. Canada, Canadians, Canadians, Canadians? Okay, so it was, it originated from the mispronounced, mispronunciation of the word speak. That don't make sense. That doesn't make that, sense. That comes from, th this is from the fucking Urban Dictionary, so. Oh, yeah, that doesn't count. No, they, they're fucking. Hey, I got a joke for you. Sure. What is uh, Michael Jackson's pronouns? I don't know. Hee hee. Hey. <laughs> Here, how's how about another joke? Sure. How's about another joke? Um, how's come you never see a pregnant Barbie? Por qué? Because Ken comes in another box. <laughs> <laughs> I went to hang out with family friends in Nova Scotia a few summers ago, and they thought myself and my family spoke like the queen. <laughs> I speak the Queen's English. I speak the Queen's English. Okay. Oh, wow. That was terrible. Derogatory for a Latino person, 1913, from cliche pr protestation. Um, no beep English. Oh, so it is. Earlier, spiggity by 1907, speak the. Uh, the term is said to have originated in Panama during the ca uh, canal, canal construction but it was only applied from an early date to Italians, and some have suggested an alteration of spaghetti. Jesus. Huh. I always thought that Italians were, uh, <laughs> I thought, you, do you know why they called Italians wops? Uh, what, because it's a, it's a thing, it's a, it's a, it's a, it means something, they stand for something, right? Yeah, so when they would come in over the boats, a lot of the Italians came without papers. Without papers, there you go. So they would put this thing on them, it was a sign that basically said, this guy's without papers. Mm. So a lot of the Italians were coming over to seek. Yeah. Basically like, hey, I, I'm, I'm in some shit over here. I'm not bringing <laughs> papers over here, yeah. you know. There's all these damn wops. Yeah. yeah. So they just have like a line of yeah. guys with little signs on their necks that said wop. <laughs> that's damn, crazy. that's fucked up. Is that fucked up? <laughs> that's real fucked up. No, uh, in and 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 fobs. We need we need modernized racial slurs that mm. make more se I agree, <laughs> sense money. to today's world. We do. <laughs> we need more. We do need. We do need more. We need to figure it out. We'll let the Canadians figure that one out. Um, do you know what? Do you know what a, a Mick Chigger is? Oh God. <laughs> no. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus an, an Irish Chinese. African American. I heard Raina laugh out there. God 
Damn. What? You didn't know that? <laughs> you need to get hip in case somebody ever uses that word you know to be mad about it. Well, well couldn't you use... Why'd you have to use the hard R, though? That's what I'm wondering. I said I said McChigger. Yeah, you used the hard R. McChigger. There you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's why I say, like, you, you're not allowed to call me a ginger. Right. I will be fucking irate if yeah. you call me a ginger. I've seen it. Now, if you don't roll that hard R on it, it's okay. We're cool. We're it's homies. okay in 1999, at least. Yeah. yeah. Just keep it ginger. Yeah. Keep it ginger. Yeah, man, we're getting fucking raunchy here, Mike. <laughs> should, we break Gin- it? Should, should we break it up with the tune? Gingivitis. Gingivitis. <laughs> gingivitis, please. He caught gingivitis. You know, my grandma's name was actually Ginger, which is kind of funny. Not even a redhead. And, but she was racist. Oh, yeah. All, <laughs> all them old white people. <laughs> Listen, we're coming out of it. We're like, the I think, the, the first generation where our parents tried not to be as racist as they could, you know? <laughs> yeah, we, they tried. They tried. And then when we were like... A little more diverse, but, I mean... Yeah, I mean, my dad... I remember my dad... I mean, my dad, you know, he married a a full-blooded Mexican, and he still... I just... I remember him still dropping N-bombs sometimes and shit, dude. Like, I just remember Mm -hmm. him still being, like... You know, like, it's just... But but he was against it, and it wasn't like my dad hated black people or didn't, you know, like most of his customers were black. People thought he was black until they would come and meet him. They would talk to him on the phone and be like, like how'd you dance? Because his name is Willie. Well, he just talked normal. He's like, hey, what's up, man? What's happening? You know, like he would just talk. He, I mean, when he was in sales, so he would talk to a lot of people and he would sort of take on or mirror. I think that's what they call it, is mirroring when you, uh, you know, you mirror your customer to try yeah, yeah, to make yeah. the sale. Uh, and so he would do that a lot, and, and so and his name was Willie. So black people would call in and be like, "Let me talk to Willie." And then Willie would be on the phone. And he'd be like, "Hey, what's up, man? What's up, my man?" You know, and he was probably saying these, jive turkey and shit. But these, <laughs> these dudes would show up and like, "He's like, where's Willie at?" Like, go, oh, hey, what's going on? I'm Willie. What do like, you need? Oh. Yeah, he would always be like, he would always be like, "Oh my god." And so my dad wasn't like this huge racist, but like that term just seems like it was. It's, I don't know, man. Like, it, it's, it was just, I've always hated it. And, like, you know, like, he only said it in, like, like very rarely. But it was still there, and I remember it, and it's still, like, ill. Yeah, I, I just, it was, I think it was a hard thing, because, you know, that older generation got to go through the the integration. Well, yeah, and he was, there was, was riots was hard, here in Toledo. It was, it was a hard was, thing for people to, you yeah. know, when you had an all-white school, and then they would take, you know, they bust the kids together mm. and then they just so then you had like two separate groups within the old yeah. school you know yeah. and these kids didn't want to be there mm-hmm. maybe a couple of them did you know for yeah. education purposes most kids don't fucking care about school anyways yeah. and then these kids didn't want them there you know so it was like yeah. there was a lot of resentment in that time frame built between the other race of both sides right like, yeah because he came up in the 50s and in the early you know early 50s they, early 60s they, yeah they tried to they and tried to force when they, were... they should have never happened you know the jim crow era and all that fucking segregation i think if we would have moved past early mm-hmm. that wouldn't have been such a big deal but we kept people segregated right. separate but equal <laughs> shut the fuck up you know up. i think that the original segregation definitely inflamed that in the yeah. 50s 60s 70s as they started integrating right. we should just tore the bandaid off and just right like off the rip. bitch we're everybody's in it together we're going yep as soon as it was done but they didn't they made separate laws for different people and it was a fucking it was a shit show and it was a shit show i, I have a new background that i want to try out and see how hopefully it doesn't look stupid uh, what do you think? <laughs> what do you want to play, Mike? What, what song do you want to play? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we should do something. Do you, yeah, well, I mean, obviously we should do something. <laughs> we should do something. I don't know what we should do, but we should do something. I don't want to play the climb till the end. That's fine. That'd be an ending song. Do you want to do a... Um... A quick different directions, maybe? Sure. It's a quick one without the... Because so, it can't do solo or anything in this. We can get a, you can get a little get a little heat on it if you want to get a little heat going, get a little heat in those sheets. Let me just look at the. Oh, okay. So will you just tell me when we are doing when we go into like cutting at halftime? 
That's that's uh, cataclysmic. Is it? Yeah, different oh. directions is uh, C sharp. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, you know, playing these songs, just so you're aware, I, I do have a Spotify myself, Jason Tyler Black. I'm going to take this moment to actually, promote myself. We uh, should actually dump you in there. You can uh, just go right on to uh, Spotify and type in my name, Jason Tyler Black. I do have an album on there, Live at Suburban Bottle, which was a victim of the the pandemic and is no longer open, which is pretty sad. But uh, I uh, went and played a set there one night, recorded it, and uh, just dropped it as a quick acoustic album. And uh, there's a bunch of songs on there if you're interested in following up and checking me out on the Internet. It's not just on Spotify. It's on iTunes and Amazon Music and whatever title and cheeser or tweezer or geezer, geezer or Pfizer. Oh, Pfizer. <laughs> Did someone say Pfizer? Did somebody say Pfizer? Oh, got to do it. We get a quarter every time we do this, just so you're aware. <laughs> Brought to you by Pfizer. Fuck you. Pay me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Pfizer. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for our sponsors, for Pfizer, for yeah, that. You love them. All right. Oh, yeah. I got to go back over here. Wait, I know this song kind of. Let me just look at it again. Yeah, I'm just going to look at it. Can we get some reverb on this? Yeah. Check, yeah. check, check. Yeah. This is a song called Different Directions. <clears throat> and these thoughts come straight. Right into my mental state like destiny or fate. I sit and contemplate the coming of our being. Through this evolution, the mass majority so clouded with confusion. The Babylon game wears a shroud of illusion. You may ask then, what's the solution? The ball is rolling in this conscious revolution And the power's not the money, man The power's in the people Love and hate manifest into all things good or evil Now I come swooping with the spiritual retrieval These thoughts not lost, just chilling, waiting to be found Some are real simple, some a little more profound Realms of consciousness are endless and abound Different directions Multiple reflections Section and dissection Far away, yeah. in a luminous light, lighting up the way. So tell me, to what cost has our innocence been lost? Some memories are faded, some happy and elated, and these feelings slowly jaded by emotion that has faded. What brings us close together can drive us far apart. I'm confused at the beginning, so heading back to the start. The beginning is the end. The end is the beginning. The circle is a spinning in these lives that we are living. I'm giving a chance that you can't take. And breathing a breath that you can't break. And dancing a dance that you can't fake. I fucked that up, but it goes different directions with multiple reflections. Section in the section. Connected by connections How something so close can seem so far away yeah. In a luminous light that up the way Get that heat on Contemplate the coming of our being through the 
this evolution, the mass majority so clouded with confusion, the Babylon game was a shroud of illusion. You may ask then, what's the solution? The ball is rolling in this conscious revolution. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> so, you know, keeping the good times going and, you know, I know we've been talking about a lot of like it's getting heavy, man. Heavy shit. So, let let let's change directions and let's talk about this written house stuff. Let's talk about some heavier <laughs> shit. Let's not talk about anything so heavy. Let's talk about this fucking big the thing that's dividing our nation currently about this verdict and outcome. Thank you for those biddies, mighty mighty, and thank you for those claps, everyone. Reina. So I want to talk. Let's, let's talk about first. Like, sure. how, there are hundreds of videos of this incident from multiple angles. Oh, thank you, mighty mighty. And here's the thing: it's been through court. Twelve people sat on a jury, and decided with there's a lot of evidence a lot of i mean like it wasn't just like oh this white kid killed people and did you know that people didn't even know that the people that he shot were white for like a long time frame yeah well still to this day they still oh, don't know 11 that. people 11 the bonnie 11 white people sat uh -huh. on the jury yeah. and in wisconsin yeah no way not Wisconsin, <laughs> not Kenosha, Wisconsin. How? Where did? Where were there white people in Kenosha, Wisconsin? In Kenosha. But at, at the same time, the prosecution is a part of choosing the jury as well. Yeah. I don't know if you ever went in for jury duty. You ever been called in for jury duty? Yeah, I get called in all the time. I just don't do it. I showed up the one time, and they were going to pay me fifteen dollars a day, and I couldn't work when I. So I got up on the. the I'm my last name starts with the B, so I was part of the interviewing mm. panel first. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, man, this is some bullshit. Like, I didn't want to be part of this. And they, they got to me, is there anybody else that has anything to say? And I, I raised my hand. And I was like, courtroom full of people because they had a lot of people to interview that day. And I was like, I, don't, I can't do this due to my religious beliefs. <laughs> They're like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Judge not, yes, ye be judged. I don't think it's a, my job. And then they let me out of there. Yeah. They let me out of there. And like a couple guys I went to high school with were in there. I gave them a wink like... Like, you know, you know. But anyways, I got out of jury duty that way. So, Congratulations. <laughs> but yeah, there was 11 I, I, white people in Kenosha, Wisconsin, which well, is shocking. Well, okay, besides being a smart ass, okay, so let's just say that, that that's the case. I mean, like, uh, the, the, the judge, I, I don't know, for what everybody, it, it, not from whatever, what I saw, the judge does seem a little on the whole fucking conservative side very conservative like just the fact that which which you know by the way it, it so like one of the first things this, this that stuck out stupid for being out there no 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 hold on let's just start here yeah. this judge and let's start with you know maybe the possibility of racism going on here which you know there is a really big possibility and in and, and bonnie you know i i heard i see what you're saying i see what you're saying and i'm not trying to shit on what you're saying at all but he killed white people, so if they were racist and they like were pro white, he just killed three white people. <laughs> right. Though, so. we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. You know, some of the things that stuck out to me, I didn't know what the the thing about the jury was, is that they did get to go home every night. So it wasn't like they went to a secluded place. It wasn't like they went to a uh, because uh, in some of these high profile cases, the jury is they're sent sequestered. to they're sequestered. They don't get access to TV because they don't want any outside influence. So here's a big thing: mm -hmm. you have a jury that's going home every night. Re they're told not to read the internet. They're told to not to watch TV. But what the first fucking thing you're gonna do is like, I'm gonna read what these people are saying because there's people, you know, there's people everywhere saying like, hey, if fucking if, if he did, if he's anything but guilty, you know, Kenosha burns. So you gotta think that in their mind, and there was even reports of them saying that some of the jury felt intimidated. They That's felt why it took so long. It took so long. There were some people and who they just, arrested. They arrested that uh, that investig the reporter that was working freelance for SMNBC. MS, MSNBC. That he was, was following them. Right. He was following they them. They didn't arrest him. They kicked him out. Right. They, they And, and he was running afraid, red lights. They're afraid they were going to get leaked who the juror was and that they were right. going to seek ramifications for 
which is in itself or influence any kind anything anything that's, um, that's a scary thought like if, if you sit on a, jur- a jury and you like see evidence that mm-hmm. you think and they did acquit them like that people are going to then come after you but i mean the kid should have caught some charge for something like i don't, I don't know, know. I, don't I don't know, know either uh, but but yeah i saw that he's going to be on tucker tonight your favorite today and actually we're going to get to that because there is a segment they they, they did release some uh video from that that i'm really interested i want to show everybody because uh, i've not seen this yet it's it's pretty interesting actually what he said it's just the previews for tonight so um i am interested i'm not the biggest fan of tucker carlson uh he's a fucking yeah i don't like fox news i don't i they're all gross so it's not these (laughs) (laughs) to the side to the side do you guys like to have my shorts up oh man you're such a hairless man up above those part of your legs they don't but ever not see, below. They don't ever see. Uh, they don't see daylight. Um, <laughs> 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 so, so you know, there's a lot to question within. Did the you jury say your thinus? <laughs> oh no, you said sexy thinus. <laughs> that your mm, thinus. Sorry, your thinus. Sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, Tucker Carlson. <laughs> uh, well, no. Okay. So, so, anyways, Tucker Carlson is a turd. But, 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 but. So the jury could have easily been influenced. But it, apparently, they were influenced. <laughs> if they were influenced, they weren't influenced that much they because were influenced they to say not guilty because they were afraid of. Re- right. But it turned out they turned out. So then, when you look at the judge, there are some things that stand out in the judge, in the judge department. There was a moment where, <laughs> where people. Because he did the OK sign, but he was only doing an impression of the OK sign. Mm -hmm. And the left ran with it. And they were like, he does the OK sign. And so he's racist. But they were just showing this because uh, Kyle Rittenhouse was filmed going around throwing up the okay sign let me tell you kyle rittenhouse was a fucking piece of shit like he he there's video of him beating the fuck out of a girl there's fucking like he's there's video of him fucking being like i wish i would have shot them uh that he was throwing up the okay sign with his little white supremacist friend and and just and some circles this is what i'm reading that that this that okay sign is not necessarily like white supremacy but sort of a uh, a jab at the establishment's uh, view of conservative people being white uh, white uh, supremacists. So, not trying to make excuses for them. They champion to... it now is well thing. because because people are making fun of this. Like like this whole "Let's Go Brandon" thing. This is another you know that's hilarious, right? It's like "Let's Go Brandon" was this whole this meme, and so like the listen, I say it, there, we got a couple guys in my work named Brandon, and, and like every time he does something good, I'm like, dude. Let's go, Let's Brandon. Go Brandon. <laughs> Let's go. It is a troll that started on Fortune. Exactly. Thank you, bloopity bloop, blip bloppity bloop. It is a it is a troll on Fortune. So this is where these things sort of start. So not everyone who's throwing up these signs you have to understand are white supremacists, although some are. And you know, I'm not gonna say that there's not people out there who are like, God damn, 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 white people this and white and that and the Mexicans well, and stuff. Christian white nationalists or whatever you want to call them, like we just they just call them white, any white groups of white people, white supremacists, right? right? So, right, and any yeah, I don't it, think there was any evidence of him like doing anything racist or anything like that of being racist but i mean he killed white people anyway so right so then then we get to the actual incident so the incident itself is is a protest for the shooting of jacob blake who is not dead by the way but he is um which which on our last podcast we were like oh let's not forget you know jacob blake let's not forget his name because you know he was shot and killed by the cops Wrong. I wasn't was, killed. He, he was wasn't in, killed. He's, he, he's rich now, and he didn't get. He got some money. He did he? get some money, but he's still fucked up. He's fucked up. He's paralyzed. Yeah. He didn't deserve to be paralyzed. No. I mean, it was a fucked up situation. Uh, allegedly, he was going for a knife. Allegedly, he was accused of rape in the past. That doesn't mean he needs to be paralyzed. But I am saying, you know, this person has a past, and if you're a cop who's approaching somebody who has a written past of violence, you approach with caution. <laughs> Not defending the cops here, but you got to think about it in other sh- in, in in the other shoes. When you're approaching someone who has a violent history on record, you know to to approach with caution because you don't want to die. And 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 
I don't blame anyone for not wanting to die. Blame people for wanting to be a cop, though. Fuck yeah, for sure. Shit. For sure. And, and, and it draws, like, the worst kind of people, it seems. And, and now it does, too, especially with all the hate that's going on in the world well, or in this country against cops. Cops are hated. Cops don't get paid shit, and they know it. And fucking, and, and they're the, you know, they're they're just fucking the pawns for fucking the elite. So it's like no one wants to be a cop, and no, no one wants to be a good cop. And the only people who want to be cops right now are fucking people who who fucking were bullied in high school, or who fucking high school football players, or high school football players, bullies, bullies, people, assholes. You know, like the the lowest common denominator it wants to be a cop. But there are, I mean, I'm not gonna say like a lot of people are ex military, of course, and come out very you disciplined can't say people. That they're, they're all terrible. But then cops are it's a very wide spectrum as too because you have a lot of people that work in de- as the detectives right. and. There's a lot of other jobs within law enforcement that go beyond just being... Of course. In, in the city. And usually not in small towns. Though. In like my town in Angle, Indiana, it's like all the kids who, you know, thought they were going to be pro ball players, but, you know, because they're... Yeah parents fed him with fucking lies their whole life <laughs> so that they could go watch him play football on Friday night. Right. Like, you know, Brandon over here, and they'd be out in the stands like, let's go, Brandon! <laughs> Sorry, I just... Uh, you just wanted to get in. You know, so then, program. you know, Brandon gets disappointed. Not even a single college comes to look at him because mm. he's not that... He's a fucking small town in yeah. Indiana. And, you know, what's he want to do? He's got a lot of built-up inner rage. You know, he drinks himself into a fucking stupor and he decides he's going to be a fucking police officer in the local town and fuck with the fucking kids. Yeah, yeah. Because that's all they really do, too, like, in yeah, the small fucking... towns. They just... They don't have nothing better to do. Like, there's all kinds of meth and shit you could be dealing with, but, like... Yeah. You're out there fucking with kids, you right. know what I mean? Yeah, and, and that just makes kids want to revolt even more. I mean, that's how... I fucking hated the, the cops when I was... Oh, yeah, I up. mean, I for sure. Cops. And, like, I still have my issues with cops and Who am I going to call? Anyway, yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Who the fuck I'm not, am I going to call? I'm not going to call the SJW squad to come over here with their fucking, you know, with their, with their fucking uh, marital counselors. Ghostbusters. <laughs> the Ghostbusters. Thank you, body. That started the, the new <laughs> Ghostbusters, by the way. It just came out on a... But, yeah, I'm not calling... Uh, Social services when somebody's breaking into my fucking right. house, right? Or, or or you're gonna just grab a gun. I yeah, mean, I'm gonna grab my gun and I'm gonna fucking take care of it myself. Shoot this motherfucker. Um. So, yeah. So the this whole idea that you know, I, I Kyle Rittenhouse, you know, he wasn't he wasn't the greatest guy in the world. The judge when he was like saying things like we can only refer to the the protesters as we can't refer to them as victims, only as rioters. Uh, arsonists. Well, what were they doing? And, and protesters. What were they doing there? They were protesting. <laughs> so <laughs> this is where everything gets really mean, misaligned. Like they, a lot of shit just getting burned down and a bunch of people taking right. advantage of the situation. You know, like you have agitators at protesters that this is what they fucking do. Like mm-hmm. so, back in '99, the World Trade Organization mm-hmm. riots in Seattle. Mm-hmm. It was pretty apparent there when we were there, like. Who that there was people there that didn't necessarily belong there. They were there just to stir shit. Right. They knew this shit was going down. You know, and then there was like there was groups there of people like that you know, it's like I don't know if you you know, like anarchists or whatever they mm-hmm. call themselves out west. They like dirty street kids with all black on, patches all over them. Yeah. They were punks, you know. Gutter punks. Gutter punks. Mm-hmm. You know, and there was you know a lot of those, but then there was like kids like dressed like that but like with new clothes you know yeah and then they had like bats and they were going around fucking hitting windows and Mm -hmm. you know because once it went to that then the police force was able to To come in to come in you know then they got tear gas fucking dumpsters burning fucking well in that case especially they it was later found that there was actual police enforcement who were starting those those um those that there was actual police enforcement who had their fucking combat boots on dressed all in black who started throwing bricks through starbucks to get people riding so the cops could come in and clear out the protesters yeah we can't clear them out until there's an issue for us to come clear them which which is which you know i'm not gonna I, I, there has to be some provocateurs in in these uh riots that are going on these days there has to be and when you look around and you s- remember last year how there was pallets of bricks just laying around coincidence man just a coincidence multiple cities it's a multiple cities there was just bricks yeah. laying around you know, for for peaceful protests there was some there were some brick masons coming along to build up a wall later you know <laughs> this is trump's fault you know they were building a wall <laughs> fucking trump i knew it they, they 
had to build a wall somehow, and they just fire got the bricks there. So there is. So you got to understand that there are external forces that want to see this happen, whether it's law enforcement or whether it's people within these groups who are trying to make a scene. And and that's a lot of what happens is that you know like groups like Antifa is are coming in and they're starting. You know, it starts as a peaceful protest, but as soon as night falls, that's when the fires mm-hmm. get lit and, and things start of go, start going awry. And then once it turns into riots and looting, it's no longer protest. It's not protesting. Um, but but some people do call it protest, right? No, some that people is are right. there's that is. But some people some people think that it's justified to to get the point across. It's like that that fire and 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 you know poor people's houses and and and, and businesses. small businesses small businesses deserve to pay for uh, for 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 their white supremacy Which is absolute for taking insanity. part. Uh, for taking part, remember it, the roof Koreans in the fucking Los Angeles riots. The the there was like the roof Koreans that like fucking armed up during the riots and no. were fucking. They kept they they had to defend their storefronts. You know, damn, I didn't know. You don't that. remember the? You have to look that up sometime. You have yeah, to look up the roof the, Koreans. The roof Koreans. Oh yeah, for sure. When I went to the BLM protest, there were antagonists that were purposely putting big rocks and bricks near where people were walking. For easy access, the protesters were people. Yeah, and then what's interesting is that you see actual protesters talking shit to some of these Antifa people. Like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Yeah. We're here to protest, not break shit. It seemed like something similar went on in the in the Capitol. Yeah, well, that was well, they that was they were literally shit. opening up the gates. Well, I mean, there was like some struggle, but like the people that were there were there were some known Antifa supporters. Mm-hmm. I I say Antifa, but. Right, you that's a blanket what, statement. But, but there was statement. also fucking FBI informants involved, involved, FBI agents involved. And I'm not going to, you know, I, there's no proof of that's what happened in Kenosha. But, like, so here's the thing. When that guy with the bison fucking thing got in, he went and he <laughs> took Nancy Pelosi's The state. QAnon she shaman. Was, if she wanted to be the house, he, he was going for the house seat. Mm-hmm. You know, she would have to battle him. That's what it was. <laughs> he was going to battle Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> To be what the, if that's how the House of Representatives, worked. like, all right, and now we duel you and me, Nancy. It's like election by duel. Buffalo <laughs> man, Buffalo man, the uh, no, it's the transcendental shaman, the transcendental shaman. You know, he's got a couple books that you can buy. It. Oh, I'm sure he does. Like, now he's in prison. He got I don't know, that guy's like he's going be, to prison and, for three years. Yeah, but when he gets out, he's going to be a cultural folk hero. Oh like, yeah, the right's going to lift him up. All the Q people are going to be like, he's our fucking god. Which fucking cute people. Have you read the Waka Shop? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Uh, the last thing I heard about it last night, at, right after it happened on TikTok. Are, are uh, you talking about the, the car that just Yeah, ran? yeah. It was horrible. Over 40 people injured and at least five people are dead. Children involved. It's fucking terrible, man. Do you remember that that kid, uh, that last kid that was from Mommy that drove his car into that protest in North Carolina or whatever? Oh, was he from Mommy? He's from me, mommy. Here's an even more fucked up story. Of course he was. He was a security guard at my work. Of course he was. Because you have these fucking people who couldn't make it as cops because they yeah. would have fucking shot what, black people as what? a <laughs> This kid, let me tell you, like we made jokes. Like yeah. this kid would wear his fucking pant legs tucked into uh, his jack boots. Yeah, dude. I knew. Like zipped up, buttoned, buttoned up all the way to the top. And he wore a security uniform, buttoned all the way to the bottom. And he like... He marched. He marched around the place, and we'd make fun of like, who the fuck's this motherfucker think he is? Like little Hitler walking over here, you little motherfucker. Like, <laughs> yeah, like unbutton your shirt, you dumb fuck. Like, yeah, these security guards, but he no, don't, I, they don't get paid shit. But I, he was a fucking piece of shit. But I worked with that guy. I, I've, I've, I've worked weird. security, and I know how some of these guys are. I've, I've you know, like they, they get rejected from the fucking force because they either they're I'll fucking what, dumb. I did, I did not see that coming. <laughs> But for real, like they they're rejected from the force, they're rejected yep. from the military. Mm-hmm. They they fucking they they tried everything they could do to to have some sort of power and authority, mm-hmm. and the only thing they can land is some entry level position guarding the mall, you know, and fucking getting made fun of by little fucking kids, and you know, like calling them a fucking rent a cop. Then this is this is the <laughs> and so you got to think about the mentality of the people who are going for these positions and now that they're sort of just letting the floodgates open with cops because they're so desperate these are the people they're letting in yeah. these are the people who are going into the military too because guess what they also lowered the standards on military acceptance so hey it's fucking let's get all the dum dums let's get all the kids who were bullied and ne- wasn't worth a shit before now let's give them guns and shit and authority and like send them out into the world to be somebody. 
And so I, I, it really sucks that we have this, but I want to kind of uh, I do I kind of want to get back to, to to the Kyle Rittenhouse thing because um, we got about fourteen minutes. We got about so fourteen you know. minutes. Fourteen. We can go a little bit over, but we, we, you know we we, we got to get out here. It up. We, we're going to wrap it up here. So. So what we got in Kenosha at the time is that the place is in chaos. It's devolved into riots. Fires everywhere. Fires. Um, you know, Kyle Rittenhouse was seen putting out fires. He was seen taking off graffiti. And now we're not trying to make him a hero, but like uh, when you're talking about motivation on what, what would, you know, motivate someone to go and protect their community, a big misconception was that he'd cross uh, state lines with an automatic rifle, which is not true at all. He, his dad is in Kenosha. His dad lives in Kenosha. He got the gun legally, which they, you know, in court, they dropped the case. They dropped the charge. Which people didn't, they're, they're still not dropping they're, that shit. They're still they not They think done. that this kid's mom drove him with the fucking AR-15 <laughs> yeah, yeah. across state lines. Into the middle of the riot, like, the go on, riot. kill people. I, I'm like, in my mind, like, when I picture the scenario, I picture, like, mom was like, all right, well, hold on. <laughs> Now, did, did you did you get some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, <laughs> Kyle? Did you get some peanut butter and jelly? Hold on, let's. You, you got to take a gun with you. Hold on, let me go through the pile of guns I got back here. D- did you want a revolver? Did you, now that's what, too small, Ma. I need some. What a about a long more. rifle? Oh no. yeah, I think that might do. I think you know what? I need a I need a clean pair of socks too. You got you got something for me, Ma? Now you, make sure make sure you pack your. Something to drink because you know you gotta hydrate, Kyle. Yes, Mom. I know. I know. Stay hydrated. Hold That's on. what you tell me all the time. Now take another clip just in case. <sighs> okay, Mom. <laughs> God, Mom. I'm a grown ass man. That's the that's the scenario I picture when when I picture that that fabrication of a story of what they think that happens. It, which be, two it, peanut butter and jelly. So you had to have. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your your squeezy bear. Hard R. <laughs> give me a kiss before you go off and shoot them protesters. Hard R. Protesters. Give me a kiss here. <laughs> uh, yeah, give your mama some sugar. Tell your dad I still hate that son of a bitch. <laughs> Tell him I hope he still dies. Um, <laughs> All right, later then. You know, so so there is a lot of misconceptions that are still being perpetuated by the media right now. And, and so what They're lying, right? Blatantly lying. This was in court. So, so, you know, one of the big things in court that did end up happening was, is that it was right at the beginning is that, uh, the, 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 the only victim, or I'm sorry, the only rioter that, uh, or the victim, let's just call him the guy got shot in the arm. Uh, gross, gr- gl- glotz, Groats, Kreets, or whatever his name was, he got shot in the bicep. Um, he admitted that the only time that Kyle fired upon him was when he lifted his gun to point it at him and he was coming for him. And so, you see the prosecutor in the background after he Yeah. Was, so you didn't shoot him. He didn't shoot you until you pointed the gun at him to right. shoot him. So, yes. So the prosecutor's like, God. Wisconsin is a is a uh, is not a stand your ground um, state. Which uh, stand your ground means that if someone's coming at you, you don't uh, you don't have to run, you don't have to make chase or, or act like you or there you don't have to show any evidence of you trying to escape before you uh, kill them. Like in Florida, you can just shoot a motherfucker who's in your house and be like, "I'm done with this." Prick. He came in, and and so like in each of these cases. Um, you know, Kyle is getting chased. So, like the first guy who threatened him early in the night, uh, the with the a skateboard. No, that was no, a different there was guy. Another guy with a gun. That's right. No, he wasn't, didn't have a gun. He had just gotten out of a mental institution for child molestation, several counts of child molestation, um, and he had just gotten out of the this mental is institution. Joseph Rosenbaum. This is Rosenbaum. Jojo, as as people are so affectionately calling him, celebrities are calling him Jojo right now. Yeah, a poor. fucking convicted child rapist. They are fucking it's backwards land. <laughs> not that not that he deserved to die, anybody. I don't think he deserved to die. I think that he should have probably stayed. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I think he probably should have stayed in the mental facility to get help. I, I think there was a failure on all levels. Like there was a failure with the authorities. I like because Joseph cops, Rosenbaum had a gun. No, he didn't have a gun, but he was threatening, and he threw a plastic bag at him. And he was chasing. Him and he too. was chasing him, and at the same time, somebody who did have a gun shot a gun off in the air 
And so Kyle turned around and looked at him, chasing him. He was grabbing for the rifle, and he thought, you know, he had no idea. He heard a gun. He turned around. Dude was grabbing his gun. He had threatened his life earlier all night. He was saying, I'm going to kill yeah, you. I'm going to kill at you. At that gas station or, right. or convenience store. Right. He, yeah, those, I saw those. So so he shot the motherfucker. And, and you know, for, for better or worse, I don't think anybody should die. Uh, but, but you know, this is what happened. And, and skateboard then, man. Then skateboard involved. man comes in. Fucking hits him in the back of the head as he's running away from people. He's fleeing. He's fleeing. He's trying to get to the cops, so he says. He's trying to get to the cops. I mean, he was. He, there's videos. Yes, yes. He, he goes to the cops the, with his hands up, yeah. with the rifle, you know, uh, uh, hanging around. He's like, help me, help me. You know, he's he's being chased by a mob at this point. And, they, and, and so part of the confusion is that the people, the, the protesters and rioters, you know, they start hearing gunshots. People are confused. People think a mass shooting is happening. All they see is this little fat kid running with an automatic rifle. Who's so that so, fat? This little chubby kid. He's it, husky. He's this husky kid fucking hoofing it down the street, sweating it out. And fucking, you know, they, so there's confusion everywhere. Fucking Gross Kreutz, uh, you know, he he's asking him. He's running with him. He's like, hey, did you shoot someone? Did you shoot somebody? He's like, he's trying to kill me. And then, so, like... He, there's confusion. People don't know what's going on. They think this kid's a mass shooter. So there's this other guy gunshots tries, going on. There's, there's other fires everywhere. Right. There's fires. It's chaos. The cops are doing nothing. In fact, the cops are bringing water to these guys who are armed, protecting these certain places in which they were invited to. There was the car, the car lot. Which they were invited to protect these places because there was five places and, and some of them had been burned in previous nights. So They didn't want their businesses burned. They didn't want their businesses burned and they were friends of the community so they came and they were trying to protect the place which, by the way, I am all for a community standing up against fucking outside invaders because the cops decided to stop doing their job. The cops decided to stop doing their job. The cops were told to stand down and let the fucking city burn. I, I don't like violence, but I do understand, especially coming from the Midwest, that mentality is like, yo, we are here on our own. We have to protect mm -hmm. ourselves. I mean, that's the mentality here. I mean, I you can be... white, but, you know, those, those, the governors could have knew this was going to happen. They could have contacted the president and asked for national. None of them asked for national. No, Guard nobody or wanted to because it was Donald Trump, and everybody was city, so against Trump. The mayors of the cities were no, we're not going to ask mm -mm. for national. We're Guard. just going to let the city burn. And their idea was to sort of let people protest and let it sort of burn out of their system. So that that was the idea. It was like we're just going to let them go. And and we're gonna let them burn it out of their system and let them sort of you know get it out like children. Let them throw a ten temper tantrum, and fucking let. It, which you know if that was my community, I mean I'm not I'm not a man with a gun or, or in that sense. I don't. I would just hide away in my house and hope no one comes. But if someone come knocking on my door trying to fucking get in here and burn my shit down, I'm gonna beat them to death. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. If they're trying to get in my house and fuck with my family because they no, think... we're animals, man. Like when it was not the end of the day. Like you know, as the head of my household, mm. like it's part of my job that if I have to fucking protect my family, I'm gonna protect my yes. family. And this is deep seated into our fucking Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Now this kid wasn't out protecting his family. No, he wasn't. He thought he. I think. In my mind, I think this kid thought he was really right out there to do something good. Right. But I think it, it was stupid. Stupid. It was so stupid. It was so fucking stupid. Right. 17-year-old fucking kid with an AR-15. I don't give a fuck if it's legal or across the state mm -hmm. line or whatever. What the fuck are you doing what are out you at a doing? car lot? I mean, where the fuck was everybody else? No, yeah. Like, all those people you were with, like, I understand that they had to separate because mm -hmm. there was multiple issues right. going on. People were putting out fires over here, over there. Uh, yeah. Trying but, to figure shit out. But listen... Despite getting the in the situation, this, in my opinion, and you know, I might seek see flack for this. I, you know, the kid was defending himself. Yeah, there was, there was. He shouldn't have. Should he have been there? Fuck no. No. What a dumb fuck. Should the cops should have intervened and, and a long time prior intervened and 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 stopped the protest? Should the protest turned into riots? Should these people have acted like children and burnt this city down? No. Um, I mean, these people, these guys. They weren't like they weren't there for to like make social change. These the three no. guys that were 
They were there to fuck shit right. up. Right. The skateboard dude also. I'm here to chew bubble gum and fuck shit up. And <laughs> I'm all out of bubble gum. Yeah. And and the guy with the skateboard had had rape charges too or something. You ever like seen somebody hit with the fucking the truck end of a fucking yes, skateboard. You yes, kill some motherfuckers. I have skater with friends. Them. Yes, you will murder people. It, you it's, can knock them out. That real is a quick. weapon. That is a weapon. Them truck. That truck end of that is fucking. It's gnarly. Okay, hold on. Cops handing handing guys water doesn't mean they're endorsing them. They probably would have given water to anyone that asked. Rittenhouse wasn't protecting anything. He left a secure area on his own and went looking for trouble. Yeah, but does that mean that he should have been chased down and his life threatened and and or or are are taken? I don't think that's the case. Here's the thing: we don't know what happened before those videos came about. So there could have been a time where Kyle was like, I like sort it. Of I like that, Bonnie. Let's give everybody a skateboard and take away the guns. <laughs> I don't think I can ride my skateboard anymore. If you have a gun, you become a target. Right. Yeah, and absolutely. there was other people who were saying that he should have got something. He took a life. But, but you know, I, I made the cases like, look, if my wife or, or any woman in my family were to be, uh, you know, attacked in this kind of situation or, 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 or someone trying to come and rape them or any kind of thing, I, I, if they kill them, I hope they kill them. I hope they fucking kill them because fucking if they don't kill them, there's a chance that they're going to come and take what they wanted or take their lives. Yeah. So I'd rather that person die because they were defending themselves against being raped or like, murdered. What was that guy going to do pointing the gun at him? What was, what was his what plan? Was, yeah, what was, was he going to shoot him when he pointed the gun at him? See, the thing is, is if, if you look, if, if you're familiar with like proper gun handling and mm-hmm. everything, this kid knew what the fuck he was right. doing. He had his and, shit down and, and at all Proper time. trigger discipline. You don't point a gun at somebody mm-hmm. unless you intend to shoot By it. By the way, the prosecution, remember? Their prosecution was pointing the gun at the fucking... I think he even pulled the trigger at the fucking... At the, um, at the, at the juries. He actually, like, held it and pointed it right, right. at the jury. Uh, nah, he had a gun and went looking for trouble. We don't need minors. Well, no. what about the guys he shot? They had a gun. Were they out looking for trouble too? Though? Right, right. So, so what? So then, what? What are we saying then? So it's okay if you're out protest, or I'm sorry, if you're out rioting in the name of social justice, it's okay to carry guns and burn shit down and potentially kill people. It seems to me like everybody involved, including Kyle, were out there looking for shit. Yeah, no, I, and here's the thing. Everyone involved, I feel like, is at fault. And look, Cartagena, I'm not saying the cops were endorsing him, but they certainly weren't being like, hey, don't run around and fucking, you know, protect shit. They weren't being like, hey, everyone go home. They weren't be, they weren't doing their job. And that's the whole thing. They weren't doing shit. They were fucking handing out water. Now, if you had a gun protecting your fucking neighborhood and a cop hands you water and drives off and says, have a good night, well, how are you going to take it, Cartagena? How are you going to take it? you going to take it as like, well, he must mean I should go home. I better stop protecting my community. Or are you going to fucking sit there and be like, oh, the cops got my back. Fuck these protesters. I'm going to shoot somebody. I mean, you got to think about it like Ooh. that too, man. This is how people... like. The, and, like, out of all the people, I don't know shit about this, but out of all the people, you know, Cartagena, you know what chaos is. You know what people are doing in those moments. It's fucking no one's at in their right minds when chaos is afoot. The cop, uh, if you don't have a gun, you're still a target. Wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you're just in, if he, if Kyle was just walking through and, and he had, like, a MAGA hat on. What about people who wear MAGA hats at these protests? Like in Portland, that guy who gets shot in the face for just having a MAGA hat on. Don't know his name. Don't know his name at all. And by the way, there was another guy. What about those kids that were out at the school trip? And that, the, oh yeah, that, kid, that guy came up with the drum and, and got up in their face, him. and there was they got that one picture right of him laughing. Of, uh, no, he's just smirking, right? And he's like, "What the fuck is this guy doing right. up in my face?" He's very like, uncomfortable. I'm a kid, uh-huh. and they put that shit all over the fucking news. That kid got paid. Yeah, yeah, it, it labeled, made him into they, some like little white supremacist. Yeah, they labeled him as racist. All of, like, the whole group. And it's know, just really weird. I'm man. not we live to, in a weird time. I, I agree, and I, look, and again, I'm not defending anybody in this case at all because I feel like from the judge to the prosecution to the fucking pro- rioters, protesters to the cops to fucking Kyle and his what parents. What a hard stuff, decision the I jury think it's had to make. All fucking bullshit. It's now all this, bullshit. And, and, and now this kid's gonna get championed by the right, right. As, as some fucking poster child exactly. for self defense. And it, and it, even if he would have gotten guilty. Now he's a martyr for the fucking case because now it's an even bigger issue because now what? I'm not even allowed to defend myself in this situation. Right. right. So it's like it's a fucking – the whole situation hard. is damned if you do, damned if you don't. It's a fucking awful situation, and I think 
that it was blown. It was, it was, I mean, well, it the, the, the media does what it, the media be doing though. You know what I mean? Oh no. And, and I get that. And, and you know, I, in that case, you know, fucking, what what are they supposed to do when they're told to stand down? Mm-hmm. You know, these these officers are are following orders. It's not like you know they they don't want to do their job. It's just the fact that fucking their their hands are tied by the powers that be. You think he's gonna shoot somebody again, Bonnie? Is that what you're saying? I wonder what happens when he shoots someone again. My guess Mine. is he's gonna take the fucking money that he gets from the media mm-hmm. and just go live and be on shows and. Yeah, like Tucker Carlson. He's gonna live in a gated community now. Like <laughs> Kyle Rittenhouse. He's gonna is now live that white Kyle, privileged white, life. White collar Kyle Rittenhouse now. This it's isn't true. like mommy dropping me off with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in my AR fifteen to go protect <laughs> the rioters. Stupid fucking Perdue. idiots. God damn, what an idiot. Fucking dude. Okay, so let's take a look at this video and then we'll wrap things up here. Um but, uh, so, sorry, Jason, you're not in this. Brought but. to you by Pfizer. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Pay me. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. <laughs> okay, so, so this is, this is just a, a peek of what's to come tonight. And, um, again, I'm not a fan of Tucker Carlson. I'm not a fucking fan of Fox News. You guys know how much I hate fucking legacy media. You guys, <laughs> seem to boot right out it's there. The yeah, I see what you did. Dare you. All right, let's listen to this little promo for tonight. Let's see if it loads. Let's see if it actually does it. Oh, God damn it. Now we're being sold Amazon stuff. Pfizer. Okay. Do a Pfizer right now. Yeah, this is for... This one goes out to Pfizer. Yeah. <laughs> we got we to gotta eliminate this one by having a Pfizer. Let me see if I can... There oh, you go. okay. All right. Not enough time. All right. Up. Oh, no. But we have now a sneak peek. All right. Here we go. I tell everybody there what happened. I said I had to do it. I just I was just attacked. I was dizzy. I was vomiting. I I couldn't breathe. This case has nothing to do with race. Um, it never had anything to do with race. It had to do with the right to self-defense. Right. Um, I'm not a racist person. I support the BLM movement. I support peacefully demonstrating. And. I believe there needs to be change. I believe there's a lot of prosecutorial misconduct, not just in my case, but in other cases. And it's just amazing to see how how much a prosecutor can take advantage of somebody. And so, you know, take it for what it's worth. Obviously, he's just some little, you know, little kid who just got off and then. He's looking for um, salvation and, and reacceptance, you know, acceptance into society. So, you know, take it for whatever you want. But he just said that he fucking he believes in BLM and that fucking he wants peaceful protest. And he, he's again, he thinks things need to change. So I don't know, you know, like, is this a little racist monster who shot three white guys it, because he hates black people? Or is it some fucking dipshit who thought he was doing the right thing and and just got caught up in some nonsense i mean i don't know i i but i don't think it's some little cracker i know i know that that uh is is i'm trying to get us back to wherever we were but i can't find the fucking shit uh oh right here it is oh. so I don't know. It's a it's a it's a interesting case, but uh, we're running out of time, so we're gonna play one more song, <laughs> and we're gonna get the hell out of here. I don't know. You guys, let us know what you think. By the way, by the t- uh, why we play this song. Go ahead, Jason. It's been a good time hanging out with everybody. Watch Mike go on his soapbox over here. He will kill again. <laughs> he might. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Mighty Mighty. Striking out alone, violin playing sorrow. You're never far from home, always a day from tomorrow.
meadow in the hollow The echoes that we made And the footsteps that we follow The last step we take alone Beyond the heart that is home No more battles to be won Your clown is far from done In time will learn Life is the climb If I fall, don't catch me Cause it's my time And whisper If I fall, don't catch me Cause it's my time Whisper to the willow In the shade of the tree I'll love you forever Wherever my soul Hey, that was very nice. Oh, I hear some claps going on. Okay, guys, so that was quite... Okay, look, just to wrap this up a little bit, I, um... I, just because Reyna said something about now he's going to go kill again, maybe, but I again, I'm going to state this. If any one of my loved ones was being pursued... Even if it was in the way that Kyle Rittenhouse was being pursued. If I'm being pursued if, like that. If Jason's being pursued like that. No, like if somebody's coming at me, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to protect myself with whatever means necessary yes. I have to protect myself. And and it, if, if it was my wife or if it was my, my nephew or my son and somebody was coming after them with a gun, with a skateboard, with, with murder on their mind, and they kill them to protect themselves... I'm going to be like, that sucks for you because you have to deal with a murder on your hand, but you're alive. And I'm so happy. You're right, though. Stay home and stay the fuck out. Exactly. Of That's what I'd be telling my friends. I mean, I told my friends. My friend, I remember fucking back when the uh, the protests were going on in Toledo here. He's like, I'm about to go down. I was like, dude, do not fucking go down no, there. No. D you're fucking 40 years old, bro. Don't go down there flipping cars and shit. Did you just turn to Boston? <laughs> Dude, you're 40 fucking years old here. What you're the hell are you years doing? Old. Don't do it. What are you doing? You know. So. That's, a, that's a great way to wrap it up, Reyna. Stay, stay home. home. Stay out of trouble. Everybody, that, that's our mantra today. Just don't go stay out there. Stay home. Stay the fuck. Stay, stay home. Out of trouble. Stay home. Mike, I want to thank you for having me on your show oh, again. thank you. My hands are gross. Yeah, your hands are gross. <laughs> I don't know what you do with that thing. Well, they're sweaty. But, you know... It's, it's it's been fun as always. I, this one went a little bit <laughs> and watch Twitch. Exactly. Stay home and watch Twitch. Don't flip cars. <laughs> be be man. Be a man. <laughs> yeah. Don't flip cars. Be a man. <laughs> Don't the flip the cars. Be a man. <laughs> flip what, them off what like is a, a man. The new one. I saw the new one. He was like, um, he was like, never write down a shopping list. Just forget half the shit that you usually get. Be, be a, a man. man. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, that's amazing. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I don't feel like rating, so I'll see you guys on Friday with another music stream with Rain of Mystique. 
3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We're going to raise some money for motherfucking Marianne, and uh, we're going to hear some times. Thank you. Thank you. Good times. Bye, everybody. Good Thanks for having me, Mike. Thank Thanks you, again. Oh, of course, my friend. Thank you for being here. Hold on. Let me just hold on, bro. Damn. Just let me, let me put the end screen on at least. I don't know where it's at. Okay. Let me just show off one of these. Oh, too late. All right. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.